You know, when we were walking through the book of Psalms, there is a theme that saturates, it seems like, every chapter and verse of that book. And that's the sovereignty of God. This dynamic that God is really in control. And David is most often the author that writes about the sovereignty of God throughout the Psalms. I think it was a theme that his son Solomon picked up on. You know, throughout the book of Proverbs, we see this same idea and character of who God is as one who is supremely in control all throughout the book. Today in our reading, we're in chapter 16, and let me just read to you maybe just two verses, two Proverbs that speak about the sovereignty of God and how it impacts us. Verse one says this, we can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. And then in verse nine, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. You know, there's this idea in culture. It's not necessarily a godly idea, but this concept that you and I, well, we're a, a sum of all the choices we've ever made in our life. Meaning that the choices that we've made, they are the reason we are where we are. Now listen, there's a lot of truth to that, that our, that our choices and our decisions, well, they have impact, they have consequences, they have results into what's happening in our lives. But not entirely. There, there still is God who is ultimately in control. And yes, it's true that we make choices and decisions and those have results or consequences in our lives, but there's also this truth, like the author of Proverbs 16 would say, that we can make our plans but the Lord determines our steps. See, there's this unique thing with God as the sovereign one who can take even bad decisions and things that may look like ash in our lives and bring beauty from them. He can take us as fallible human beings, those that don't always make the best decisions and bring good out of them. So as you're reading Proverbs 16 today, I hope you're encouraged by this truth. God is so gracious that he can give us the ability to make choices, and they do have results. They do have consequences, but also he is the one who determines our steps. So today, make good and wise choices. How? Read the book of Proverbs. It's full of great insights of how to live wisely, but also at the same time, trust that the Lord, he's in control, he's sovereign, and he alone can direct our steps.